Paul Law, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim, Akako Dash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, Shalom, Labukharium, Yahweh's name and Heavenly Father, which is the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Bashim, which means in the name of Yahweh Shai, is the name of the only begotten Son who was sent to deliver the children of Israel from their sins. Bashim, Akako Dash, means in the name of the Holy Spirit, which is the volume of the book, the Spirit of Truth, Shalom, Labukharium, peace to the elect. That's the men, women, and children whose names are written in the book of life. All right. And uh, this is 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 10. Therefore, I endure all things for the elect's sake. Right in this video, the spirit was on me when I woke up this morning. And uh, sometimes this happens to me. It typically uh, leads to videos where, you know, particular scriptures or uh, particular phrases in the scriptures. Okay. Uh, the Holy Bible uh, like kind of like ring in my head. And like, I just keep saying it, keep saying it, keep saying it. And it typically leads to a video, you know. Um, yeah, and this scripture was the scripture this morning when I woke up. I just, I just kept hearing this in my head, you know. And uh, I just want to tackle it, you know, dissect it, if you will, you know, go into what it truly means, and how can we apply it today? All right. And again, it says, "Therefore I endure all things for the elect's sake." Now let's look at that word endure. Okay. Strong's G fifty two seventy eight. Hupamano. Hupamano. Yeah, and the first word that they give you is remain. All right. And the word remain means to continue to ex continue to exist, stay. You know. Um hey, look, there's gonna be Things that you're going to go through that you may not like, all right, whether one way, shape, or another, uh, you're going to be looked at in a particular light, light all right? You're gonna, uh, people are going to have their own opinions about you, but the scriptures are telling you to endure it, meaning to, or to stay or to exist or to continue. What we were continuing, continuing the faith, continue to do the videos, you know, continue to pray for one another, continue to fast, continue to go into the highways and hedges. You know, it says what? To tarry behind, to remain, i.e. abide, not recede. Meaning what? Recede means to go back. That's why you see somebody with a, they're losing their hairline. They say their hairline is receding. Meaning what? It's going back. So we're supposed to continue to troop on and move forward in this thing. It says recede or flee. And a lot, it's very easy. Once again, uh, the brother of Moff, he once upon a time told me, he said, pain Everybody goes through pain, but suffering is a choice, all right, and which is some heavy stuff to say, man, you know, real talk, and uh, I keep that in mind, because when you suffer things, that means you're not fleeing from it, you're dealing with it, you, you, you're you going through the brunt, all right, you got to, in this, in this thing of ours, you're going to go through moments, moments of truth, where the things that you don't want to hear, the things that the uh, the things that you don't want to hear and the, the things that you don't necessarily want to go through, you're going to have to face it if you believe in this word, if you believe that Yahweh Shai will get you through whatever the circumstance that comes your way. All right, it says to preserve under misfortunes and trials to hold fast to one's faith in the anointed. You see? And what, again, you, you're keeping the job description the same regardless of the circumstance. It says to endure and to endure, bear bravely and calmly. You see, I meaning you can't lose your cool. You know, that's something that, you know, like I've mentioned prior videos and and brothers that know me, period. You know, it's something that, that I've been working on to keep calm in whatever circumstance that comes about, you know. And uh that's a part of the job description. It says you know, bear bravely and calmly ill treatments. Meaning what? You No matter what, again, if you you feel like you're being tr treated bad, you're still supposed to remain and, and keep trooping, okay? Regardless of the circumstance. Again, all right? It says what? That, that, well, that's that's the point right there. Now, this, this goes into, 
you know, let's go, let's go back to the actual verse. Therefore, I endure all things for the elect's sake, that they may also obtain the salvation which is in Hamashiach Yahushai with eternal glory. Because when you, Paul spoke about, therefore, when I am weak, therefore, I, when I am weak, therefore, I am strong. All right, because when you get in the hit, you get in the blows, you know, Satan is on your ass. All right, when you show forth the endurance of that, you're able to get through it and not fall off. You show forth a good example unto the flock to show forth the power of Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai. So when those individuals the, of, the, of the hopeful elect see that you've overcame whatever you went through, all right, they're also, in their mind, whatever they go through, they know it's bearable. Okay, they they are able to endure whatever they go through as well. Okay, it says it is a faithful saying: for if we be dead with him, we shall also live with him. Right. So what does that mean? Yahweh Shai, you know, died for our sins, but also too it represented him putting off his life, just like us. We're putting off our life, and we're not looking for the reputation. Okay, even though we're in the flesh, you know, the flesh wants you to get that reputation. The flesh wants you to be boastful. Okay, the flesh wants you to, you know, uh, think highly of yourself. Okay, but Yahweh Shai was the greatest example where the scriptures say he saw himself of no reputation. Okay, so if we be dead with him, meaning what we put off our lives, put off our reputation, and bear these things, all right, we shall also live with him. And that goes into that eternal glory, being the first fruits, all right, of the kingdom of heaven, all right, being on a chariot, being delivered, all right, th through the destruction that's to come, through the famine that's here and the more famines to come. Um, oh, I meant to say a pestilence to come as well, okay? So on and so forth. If we suffer, we shall also reign with him. If we deny him, he also will deny us, right? Because the best time, like I quoted earlier with Paul, he said, when I am weak, therefore I am strong, right? Why? Because those that go through the temptations, go through the uh, the trials and the errors, all right, and remain faithful, that, that's the way of announcing or proclaiming Yahweh Shai. But if you say, look, I don't, you know, I'm not dealing with this, this is some bullshit and Whatever, 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 you go on a rant and you start doing things that's contrary to the doctrine or contrary to the character or conduct in which we were taught, then that is denouncing Yahweh Shai. Okay? So that that's that's pretty much the point. Um, I had some other things I wanted to go into, you know, but I, I believe I'm gonna leave it at at this, you know, make it short, sweet, simple to the point. You know, I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Akakwadash, Shalom.